नमस्ते एवरी वन माई नेम इज नवीन एंड मीट माई फेलो टीचर गौरव वेलकम टू द डे एट ऑफ आर ट्वेंटी वन डे योगा फॉर बिगिनर्स सीरीज इन आर टूडेज प्रैक्टिस वील बी फोकसिंग ऑन आर फुल बॉडी विद द हेल्प ऑफ सूर्य नमस्कार एंड अ फ्यू न्यू आसनाज इन द इनिशियल फेज ऑफ आर क्लास यू माइट फाइंड योर सेल्फ अ लिटल बिट स्टिम्युलेटेड विद द प्रैक्टिस बट मेक श्योर यू स्टे टिल द एंड बिकॉज बाय द टाइम वी आर डन विद शवासना यू विल बी कंप्लीटली रिलैक्सड so with that now let's get started we are starting with centering right now gaurav and i are sitting in vajrasana now if this is comfortable you can sit in this position or else you can sit in a cross legged position sukhasana from here keep your back straightened you can have your both the palms in chinna mudra roll the shoulders behind and now very gently we'll close our eyes let us go ahead for a couple of breaths here Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. As you are going deep with your inhalation and exhalation, find the relaxation within the body and mind. Now let us prepare the body and mind for our today's practice with the help of three omkar chant. We'll bring the palms together in namaste at the center of our heart. Let us take a deep breath and inhale. Now let us start to rub our palms. Bring good amount of heat in your palms. Bring your palms to your face. Energize yourself. Look at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. So let's start our practice. Make sure every time whatever you're doing, give your best and take the break whenever you feel the need. So God will help you with the demonstration. I'll continue to guide you with the instructions. The first one that we are going to practice right now is Nauka Sanchalan Asana. So let's get started. First we will look at the demonstration. This is going to be seated so we will be sitting down having the legs forward. Now you can be in this position right now. This is Dandasana. Now here the legs are forward. You can lift the knees a little bit higher. Now Gaurav will just show them the demonstration of it. We'll take the hands up high. You'll make a fist of your both hands. with exhale you will lean forward and then with inhale you will start to bend your elbows taking the shoulders behind and then raising the hands up high so this is what is one round now one of the very important thing here is when you are going back at that time make sure you are not building a hunch on the back we don't want this all we want is to keep the back straight and support the lower back in this tighten up your glutes the hip region so that your lower back is completely safe Now this is a movement of the Nauka Sanchalan Asana we'll do it for total 5 rounds and then we will relax so you can get into this position right now with the legs forward knees slightly higher and then raising the hands up high making a fist inhale exhale leaning forward pull yourself back inhale and then again exhale down two we go back inhale exhale Three, inhale, exhale. Four, inhale, exhale. Five, inhale, and then 
we'll relax. Wonderful. So here we are done with our five rounds of Nauka Sanchalanasana. This really helps us to start to feel the abdominal region, the core strength. Now you can relax your legs right now. Go for one deep inhale. I'll exhale out completely. And now let's get started with our Surya Namaskar practice. We'll do four rounds of Surya Namaskar today as well. The first three rounds will be the classical way, the way we have been doing. And there is a slight variation in the fourth cycle, which we will discuss when we are doing the fourth one. So, God, are you ready? We'll get started with now first cycle, both the feet together first, palms at the center of our heart. Inhale, raise your hands up higher, gently bending behind, tighten up your glutes, having the knees a little bit bent, Hastuttanasana it is, we like exhale down, having the knees bent, try to come only on your fingertips right now, and then taking the right leg back with inhale, right knee down, toe out, you are in Ashu Sanchalanasana, we'll take the right toe in and taking the left leg back. This is Santalanasana, palms right below the shoulders, toes right below the heels. Make sure you're pulling your belly nicely in and tightening up your glutes and the hip region. One more time, inhale. Exhale, taking your knees down, take the chest and the chin down, keeping your hips slightly higher. Ashtanga Namaskar. And then we will straighten the legs, pointed toes, tighten up your glutes. Inhale, lift the chest up high. We are in Bhujang Asana. Press the palms down, turn your toes in, moving back to Parvat Asana. Now here you can have your knees bent if you feel it more stimulated. Take a deep breath, inhale. Taking the right leg forward once again. Taking the left knee down, you are looking forward. Ashwasanchalan Asana, exhale. Take the left leg forward. We'll have the knees gently bent, be on your fingertips. Again, tighten up your hip region and lift your hands up higher. You're taking the shoulders behind and pushing the hips forward. Hastuttanasana, exhale. Come back to Pranam Asana. This was first half, total 12 steps. Let's go for another 12 steps with the left leg this time. Let's get started. Once again, we come to Pranam Asana. We'll raise the hands to Hasta Uttan Asana. We'll gently bend back, exhaling and taking your hands down. Have the knees gently bent here. Let us take the left leg back with inhale. We are in Ashu Sanchalanasana. Exhale, take the right leg back and come into Santulan Asana. Inhale one more time. Exhale, take your knees down, chest and the chin down on the mat. Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, come up to Bhujanga Asana. Exhale, let us move back again to Parvat Asana. Have your knees a little bit bent if you feel like. Take the left leg forward. Keeping the right knee down, once again you are inhaling. Exhale, take the right leg forward here. Have the knees gently bent. Pada Hastasan. And then again you will be raising your hands up higher, gently bending behind. Exhaling, coming to Pranam Asana. Coming back to Samasthiti. We are done with first round. Let us go ahead with the second now. Now again we'll start. Pranam Asana. Hast Uttan Asana. Exhale. Pada Hastasana. Inhale. Ashusan Chalanasana. We'll take the right leg back. Exhale. Santulanasana. Left leg back. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Take the knees down. Chin and the chest down. Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, coming up to Bhujanga Asana. Exhale, moving back to Parvat Asana. From here, let us take right leg forward, taking the left knee down. Inhale. Exhale, we'll take the left leg forward, having the knees gently bent. Inhale, raise your hands, push the hips forward, engage your hips region right now. And then coming back to Pranam Asana. Let us prepare ourselves and go for another half. Once again, Pranam Asana. Raising the hands, gently bending behind. Exhale, leaning forward down. We'll take the left leg back at this time. Inhale. 
exhale right leg back inhale and then going down to ashtanga namaskar inhale we'll come up to bhujanga asana exhale moving back to parvat asana taking the left leg forward to the center of our palms inhale exhale right leg forward and then inhale raising your hands gently bending behind exhale pranamasana wonderful you again relax to the samasthiti let us go ahead with our third round now once again pranamasana inhale hasta uttana asana exhale padahastasana let us take the right leg back inhale exhale left leg back you are in plank santalanasan inhale and exhale down from there inhale bhujanga asana exhale moving back to parvat asana let us take the right leg forward left knee down inhale exhale taking your left leg forward knees gently bent inhale raise your hands to hast uttan asana exhale pranam asana let us go ahead with another half of it once again pranam asana we'll raise the hands gently bending behind exhale leaning forward down with the knees bent take the left leg back inhale exhale we'll take the right leg back into santalan asana inhale and then exhale down to ashtang namaskar inhale come up to bhujang asan exhale moving back to parvat asana let us take our left leg forward we'll take the right knee down inhale exhale we take the right leg forward once again and now we'll inhale raising the hands and gently bending behind exhale pranam asana and relax so here we are done with total three rounds classical way now we'll go ahead with the variation so very quickly let us look at the variation and then when we are doing we will do it together so the variation is in hastuttanasana the first variation in hastuttanasana this time take the palms behind the back rolling the shoulders behind and then trying to bend back now make sure you engage this part of your body the abdominal region very much while you're doing this you can keep looking slightly forward as well we'll hold this for 5 we will do this one instead of doing how we have been doing the hastuttanasana where we are raising the hands and just moving we'll do this one instead of that now when we are completing the cycle and at that time when we are doing padahastasana wherein we are leaning forward so you will be coming agar can you just come to the parvatasana once so you will be coming from here taking the right leg forward while you are completing then you will take the left leg forward this is how we get into the padahastasana right from here all you need to do is to open up the feet a little bit wider toes slightly pointed and allow your pelvis to come down we slowly come down to this position it is malasana now in malasana we'll do a slight bend to the side so you will be taking the right palm onto the left knee raising the left hand up higher and slightly bending to the side now this is a variation that really will help you to work on the flexibility of the lower body strength of the lower body and also the flexibility of the sides now but this could be a little bit challenging and maybe a little bit intimidating as well so if you find this very challenging and this is not working well you can do the padahastasana that we have been doing perfect so this is how we will do it and while we are while we need to do it i'll guide you once again so let's get started again we are starting our fourth cycle feet together again pranam asana inhale exhale out completely taking the hands behind your lower back and then opening the shoulders slightly behind gently bending back holding this position for 5 One. Breathe in and out. Two. Breathe in and breathe out. Three. Inhale and exhale. Keep opening the shoulders nicely. Four. Breathe in and breathe out. 
five, breathe in and breathe out. And up from there, we will lean forward down by bending the knees a little bit in Padahastasana. From here, let us take the right leg back. We are coming into Ashwasanchalan Asana. Inhale. Exhale, we'll take the left leg back. Coming into Santalan Asana. Pulling the belly nicely in, tightening up your glutes. Inhale. Exhale, take your knees down, chin and the chest down to Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, coming up to Bhujanga Asana. Exhale, we'll move back to Parvat Asana. And then we'll take the right leg forward to Ashwasanchalan Asana, left knee down. Inhale. Now from here, first we will kind of get into the Padahastasana, left leg forward. But from here, open the feet a little bit wider, toes slightly pointed to the side, bend your knees, and then take your right palm onto your left knee, left hand up high, gently bending to the right. You're doing this only if, it, if your body allows you to do this, otherwise you can also choose to do Padahastasana. If you're in this position, let's hold it for five breaths now. One, breathe in and breathe out. Two, inhale and exhale. Three, breathe in and breathe out. Four, inhale and exhale. Five, breathe in and out. And we slowly come back. And then we'll stand up here. Very gently, we'll start to raise the hands up high and gently bending back in Hastuttanasana, the way we have been doing, exhale, coming back to Pranamasana. So if you have observed, while we were in that position, Malasana, we only did it to the right because we'll do with the left in the second half. So let's get started. Another half, feet together, palms in Namaste. Inhale first, exhale out. And then again, taking your palms behind your back, inhale. A deep arch, open the chest nicely, shoulders behind nicely, five, breathe in and out, four, inhale and exhale, three, breathe in and out, two, and one, very slowly, we lean forward down to Padahastasana, having the knees a little bit bent, take the left leg back this time, Left knee down on the ground. You're looking forward, inhale. Exhale, moving back to Santalanasana with the right leg. Inhale. Exhale down to Ashtanga Namaskar. Coming to Bhujanga Asana, inhale. Exhale, moving back to Parvatasana. Let us take the left foot forward between the center of your palms. Inhale. Exhale, right leg forward and from here, if you're going for Malasana, side bend, you can open the legs, bring the pelvis down. This time, take the left palm to the right knee, your right hand will go up high. Exhale and bend to the left. One, just breathe in and breathe out. Keep listening to your body and do how much ever the body allows. Two. Three, breathe in and out. Four, five, very gently you'll be coming back, slowly lift your pelvis up high, coming into Hastuttanasana, gently bend back, exhale, coming to Pranam Asana, and now we'll relax ourselves, opening the feet slightly wider, palms facing forward. You can close your eyes if you feel comfortable. Let us start to observe everything that's happening within the body and mind. Feel the higher level of energies. Keep observing the stamina that we are building day by day. The Suri Namaskar. Observing your heart rate, your breath rate.
let your heart rate and breath rate calm down. And as you feel comfortable with your body and mind, you can slowly start to open up your eyes with a few blinks. And now you can relax yourself. So I, I hope you're feeling energized right now and also relaxed with the body. Let us go ahead with our next asana. Our next asana is Uttan Prishta Asana. And in that, we'll do a little bit of twist as well. Let's quickly look at the demonstration. So Gaurav will help them with the demonstration right now. To start with, you will be in this position, tabletop position. And from here, you will be taking the right foot outside your right palm. Now you'll be placing the foot exactly outside the palm and then trying to take the left leg slightly behind. When you do this, your pelvis will automatically come slightly lower and forward. Once we are done here, then from here, we will see if we can take the left forearm down on the mat, having the left palm closer to the right foot. Now you need to really have good amount of support from the left forearm if you are going for this and then raising your right hand up higher. Now when you do this, you have two choices. Either you can lift the right hand up high completely or else have your palm on the waist, like how Gaurav is doing right now. And in here, very importantly, try to pull the right shoulder back. That is where you'll be able to deepen the twist. Now this is how we will do the Uttana Prishtasana twist. Now in case keeping your left forearm becomes very challenging, you will come on your left palm. So we'll show them that one also, Gaurav left palm and then we'll lift the right hand up high. This is going to be slightly simpler in case the first one was a little bit difficult. So let's get started now. Make sure we start at the tabletop position. Your palms right below the shoulders and knees right below the pelvis. From here, we will take the right foot outside the right palm, taking the left leg slightly behind and then trying to lift the right hand up high, either on your left palm or on the left forearm. Let us hold this position for five breaths. One, breathe in and breathe out. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Two, breathe in and breathe out. Try to keep pulling your belly in, engage your glutes, tighten them up. Four, breathe in and breathe out. Five. And then slowly bring your right palm down, coming back on your left palm. We'll gently take the right leg back, relaxing here, and then changing the side. This time you will take the left foot outside your left palm, pushing the right leg slightly more behind and then either come on your right forearm or right palm. From here, let us lift the left hand, pulling the left shoulder nicely behind, trying to look up or down based on how you feel with your neck right now. One, breathe in and breathe out. Two, inhale and exhale. Three, Make sure you engage your glutes and the abdomen. Four. Five. And then we'll slowly take the left palm down, coming back on both the palms, taking the left leg back, coming into, the, coming into this position, tabletop position, taking a deep breath, inhale here, exhaling, and then from here, you can sit down, Gaurav, you can come down actually and lie down on the abdomen. I requested Gaurav to lie down on the abdomen because our next position is on the abdomen. Please look at the position right now, how exactly we will do it and then we will do it together. So from here, we are practicing right now Ardha Dhanur Asana. In Ardha Dhanur Asana, we will be relaxing one of the forearms forward. So we will start with the right one, wherein you will take the right forearm forward, trying to pull the shoulder nicely behind, and then folding the right leg behind, and taking the left hand behind and trying to hold your right ankle, how Gaurav is holding here, with the left palm. So this is how we will be doing Ardha Dhanur Asana. 
Now, very importantly, make sure you keep the front forearm, whichever the hand is, either right or left. Make sure you take the support and pull the shoulders nicely and with the other hand holding the ankle of the other leg. This is how we will do this position and then we will release after five and then change the side. So let us quickly get started with this. Now you can lie down on your abdomen, straightening the legs. But you can keep your legs slightly apart, almost hip to shoulder width apart. Let us bring the right forearm below the right shoulder or you can say the upper body. Once we are set with the right forearm, you will be folding the right leg, trying to take the left hand behind and grabbing your ankle. We'll be holding it here, breathing in and out for five times. In case you find challenges with your neck, keep your chin down. One, inhale. And exhale. Two. Three, breathe in and breathe out. Four. and five very gently let go of your legs relax take a deep breath inhale and this time with exhale come on your left forearm folding your left leg taking the right hand behind trying to grab the left ankle with the right palm and keep looking forward one breathe in and Breathe out, two, inhale and exhale, three, four, five. Slowly let go of the left leg. You can come down, taking the forehead down, relax yourself here. You can also take your hands behind your head just to give the relaxation to your neck. So inhale and exhale out. One more time, inhale, exhale. From here, you can press the palms below the shoulders and slowly come back, sit at the center of your mat. We'll go ahead with Baddha Konasana followed by Purvottan Asana. Now, in Badakon Asana, we will be keeping the soles completely together. Now, what you would want to avoid right now is pulling the heels inside. So, keep it comfortably. We don't really want to pull it in. Wherever you find the comfort, keep it there. One of the very important things. Once we come to this position, we will inhale. With exhale, we'll start to take the hands forward. Going forward, down as much as the body allow. And the idea is not really to touch the forehead down towards your feet or the floor. It is just that you are taking the hands forward and trying to pushing the belly forward, pulling the shoulders behind and looking forward. This will really give you a good amount of stretches from your groins, inner thighs and will help you become a lot more flexible with the lower body. Once we are done with five breaths here, you will slowly come back. And from here, we will take a turn and straighten the legs. Yes, now you can fold the legs in the demonstration, Gaurav. You can fold the legs and then taking the hands behind, we will be doing Purvottan Asana, wherein you'll be pressing the palms at the back and trying to lift the hips as high as we can. Now make sure the knees are not really crossing too much over the ankle and lifting the hips only how much the body allows. Looking backward again is a very optional thing. Don't try to do it right now. Just keep looking forward only. So we'll do Badakon Asana first and then going ahead with Purvottan Asana. You ready? Let's get started then. We'll come to the center of our mat with Badakon Asana. Both the soles together. And then leaning forward. Taking the hands forward, how much of the body allows. Only if you have any challenge with your low back right now, don't try to go forward and stay still back. Five. Breathe in and breathe out. Four. Three. 
two, one. From here, we'll slowly take the palms back. We'll again come back to the center. We'll open the legs to the side. We are going for Purvottanasana now. So make sure you have the legs bent, pressing the feet down, hands slightly behind. As Gaurav is doing, you can continue to follow him together. And from here, tighten up your glutes, engage your abdominal region by pulling the belly in. Inhale, lift the pelvis as high as you can. Keep looking forward only. We'll hold it for five. One, two, three, four, and five. Exhale, slowly bring the pelvis down. And now from there, you can lie down, Gaurav. You can also lie down on your back. We are going ahead for our next asana. And for this one, you don't really want, you don't really need to see the demonstration. You can continue to listen to me and we can do it together. What we will do right now here, we will just hug our knees and taking the hands on the shins. Like pull the knees towards you, hug your knees nicely. And once we are here, from here, we will start to do rocking, meaning moving forward and coming backward on the back. So you are coming forward, going back, and doing the same thing back and forth. I hope you got this idea. Let us get started and keep doing the rocking. One, going forward, coming backward. Two, keep moving. Three, keep moving. Four, five. And now you can relax your legs, relax your hands, lie down in Shavasana. Now, we actually did Pavan Muktasana and in that we did the rocking that might have given you a good amount of massage to your entire back to release all the tension from the back. Now let us continue being here in this position, Shavasana, having the legs shoulder width apart, toes falling down to the sides, your palms will be facing up and hands slightly away from the body, keeping your armpits free, eyes very gently closed. Let us inhale and exhale. To deepen the relaxation within the body and mind, we'll go for three humming sounds. You'll keep your mouth closed only. You'll take a deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, you'll make a sound like a B, like this. So with your entire exhalation, you'll go and make this kind of a sound for a total three times. Let's get started. Inhale. vibrations throughout the body. gently we'll come back to the body consciousness we'll start to move our toes fingers bring the legs together fold your legs now very gently take a turn to the side and stay there for a breath you can take the support of one of your hand for your head. Now 
Now from there, take the support with your hand, gently come up, sitting in Sukhasana with your closed eyes. Keep your back straightened, roll the shoulders behind, bringing your palms at the center of your heart. We'll go for one Omkar followed by three Shantis to settle down all the energies of our today's practice. Inhale. Gently, we'll start to rub our palms, creating good amount of energies in your palms. Bring your palms to your face, energize yourself with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. We'll look at our palms. So, here we are done with the day eight of our 21 day of yoga for beginners series. Do let us know how did you feel about our today's session. And I hope you are following the journal that we spoke about in the initial sessions. Continue to journal your experiences and even let us know about them as well. We'd be very happy to read them. So thank you so much. We'll see you in the next session now with a lot more energy. Until then, this is Naveen and Gaurav signing off. Namaste.